Welcome back, dudes. Happy New Year. It's New Year somewhere by the time this is uploaded. It's not New Year's yet here, but Happy New Year. By the time you see this, it'll be New Year's everywhere, I'm pretty sure. So Happy New Year, guys. Happy New Year, 2018. What? So today we're just taking a real quick look. I'm not going to waste much of your time here. A real quick look at this image. So this is based off of the Swineapple 32 gigabyte image. Now, this is 64 gigs. It has been pre-shrunk, so that's taken care of. What this was, um, a viewer, an awesome dude, Wolfenos, he set up the previous 64 gigabyte version. There was a few little issues um, that, that some people were having. So this version is essentially the same, but with a bunch of little tweaks to in, in, you know, increase performance, make sure all the videos play, OMX player is on, everything is formatted to work with OMX player, the, you know, the, the password, every, all the permissions are there, you can SSH in, all that good stuff, all the you know, username, passwords, all the default stuff that you guys are accustomed to. So just to briefly go through this real quick like, um, let's just go ahead and start at MAME. So MAME just has Mario Brothers with the, uh, with the uh, samples, and so that's just one game. Game Boy Color, we have 528, and as you see, it does load up with a little splash screen, then it goes straight to the video. So that is pretty cool. Um, the other thing I want to say before we go any further is there are a ton of splash screens for when you boot this system up. There's over 60 of them. Most of them are like commercials or just some sweet retro gaming stuff. Some of the stuff you've seen before, but some stuff you probably haven't seen that's really neat. You can go through and dig through them you know, on your network. Look at the splash screens. Maybe delete some if you don't want them or just go through them and be like, hey, you know, I, I'll use these on my own build. Pretty cool stuff. There's also a ton of background music. So the background music script has been pre-installed and there is a ton of music. I have shut off the audio for this video because I don't want to get any kind of claims on anything because there are some songs in there that are, you know, not, you know, I can't play them on YouTube, obviously. But going forward, we do have Game Boy Advance 989. Same thing, you load it up, you have a little splash screen and then it goes into a video. And all the videos perform flawlessly. The previous version, there was some issues with the arcade and whatnot. This version, nothing, everything's good. So Game Boy 544, pretty awesome stuff. All your standards, you know what I'm saying? Um, I think where this image really shines is the additions to the um, arcade stuff. So Game Gear, we have 255, Game & Watch 56, Famicom Disk System, one of my favorites, 79. Dreamcast, it says two, but we only have one, which that's going to be Marvel vs. Capcom 2. And as you see, the video plays perfect. Everything looks good. Still, <coughs> still image pops up and then goes straight to the video. Pretty sweet stuff. Daphne, we just have one, which is going to be Dragon's Lair. And <coughs> a lot of people bring up that they can't play Daphne games on RetroPie. I've done a video in the past on setting up controls. It can be pretty tricky. Um, you just, you know, typically you're going to have the most success using like an Xbox controller if you don't want to have to dig into the little file and manually change the controls. Um, because Daphne typically is just a, a coin, a coin button, a start button, an action button up, down, left, and right. So action, there's just one button and then your directions. Um, so you have to have those set up. But if you just do your initial controller setup through, um, you know, when you first boot this up, it's just straight up ES, hey, and, you know, do your controls. Once you do that, you know, it'll it'll kind of default all the, the systems with their own controls. Daphne, it's going to be hit and miss. But a lot of times if you use an Xbox controller, you'll figure it out easy enough. If you're using other controllers, it's kind of more difficult to figure out what the buttons do because they might not map properly to the defaults. So you might want to check my video out that was done almost a year ago. Um, I try my best to help you guys with that. It's I have some configuration files for Daphne for different controllers. I will at some point put those out for people, maybe do a new video on that. So moving forward, Atari 7800, 57 games, a lot of cool stuff. Um, a lot of cool games in 7800. 2600, there's some games that were missing that were re-added to this because this was not the complete 
Atari 2600 collection. And then where it really shines, like I said, is the arcade game. So we have 1,142 tested arcade games. Awesome stuff. And this is where a lot of the videos there was an issue with in the previous version. This one, boom, all the videos play just great. Um, everything's smooth, no issues with that. So it, it's, it's a pretty nice setup. I'm digging these games. I don't necessarily need the videos, but it, it, it works. You know, that's what's going to take up most of the space on this, this, you know, being 64 gigabytes is all the videos that are installed onto this image. So, like I said, arcade's really where it's at for me anyway. That's what's special about this for me is all these arcade games tested. I mean, you can go further than 1,142 games. And my arcade only that I'm working on is going to have over 2,000. But, you know, once you start hitting that, you're, you're getting into the, uh, you know, a lot of foreign stuff, Mahjong, um, weird adult type games. So I try to keep it low. You know, 2,000 or so without getting too much of the weird stuff. But I think this is pretty solid right here. Who needs more than a 1,000 arcade games? Seriously. But there's a ton of them on there. All the classics that you can think of that run on a Raspberry Pi 3 are on there. So pretty sweet stuff. You do have all your last played, your favorites, and all games. Um, you know, wheels. Custom collections. Pretty sweet stuff. You can add your custom collections. Some people bring up like, hey... Why do you have an NES Mini and SNES Mini and not all the games are in there? And I brought this up in the past. The reason being was because the this collection wasn't a real collection. I did it to highlight something in another video and I just left it on there. It's just essentially a favorites list. If you want to complete the NES Mini list, you can go ahead and do so. You just go into the NES Mini list and then you just hit um, select. And then you go to add, remove games to this collection, and then go through and add, you know, the games that you want to add to it. Just the way it works. Not a big deal that they're not on there because the rest of the games that would be in that are on here anyway. You just got to add them if you want them in that own specific collection. And then we do have Zelda Collection. Ten games available, so a bunch of Zelda stuff listed. Pretty cool. Love the Minish Cap. That was a really fun game. I have to pick that up on cartridge again. I don't have it. Oracle of Seasons and Ages was really fun. Those were all um, Capcom done games, and I think they were done very well, you know, partnering with Nintendo on that stuff. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Williams Classics. There's 43 in here, so that's pretty cool. I didn't didn't look at this the last time. Um, so you're going to have a bunch of Williams released games, Midway, you know, Bally, all that, that good stuff. So that's pretty cool. A lot of awesome games in there. Then your Street Fighter collection. It's going to have everything arcade, PlayStation, uh, Super Nintendo, Sega, all that good stuff. Um, you know, mostly where it's going to be out on a build like this would be arcade. And they are on there, so that is cool. Sonic Collection, 27 games in there. Pretty awesome. Um, not sure what is the difference here. Mega Drive. Don't know why that's listed twice. I'll have to look at that later, but... Um, there you go, a bunch of Sonic games. Pretty sweet. Mortal Kombat, 15 Mortal Kombat games. What? So it's going to be multiple versions. Whoa, what the heck are the Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance? Like, dude, that looks pretty sick on the Game Boy. Huh. It's a Game Boy Advance game. Pretty neat. Tur Mortal Kombat, what was that called? Mortal Kombat Tournament Edition. Wow, I don't... I don't remember these games on the Game Boy Advance. That's crazy. Game Gear. I played all the Mortal Kombat's on Game Gear. They kind of sucked, but, you know, if that's all you had, it was still pretty cool, though. You know what I'm saying? But that's cool. What was that? Mortal Kombat Advance. Port of Ultimate. Okay, so it's a port of Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. That's cool. Some weird little games that I never really, never really seen before. Metroid Collection 5 games. Some awesome games. Zero Mission Fusion, the original Metroid. Metroid 2, The Return of Samus. I was going to say Samus Returns, but that's the uh, the 3DS remake. And then Super Metroid. Very awesome games. I actually really liked Zero Mission. I, I really like both of those. Fusion and Zero Mission. Played the crap out of them when they first came out. I remember I just uh, I beat them like, right away. Just nonstop. Really fun game. Games. Metal Slug. Was that nine metal slugs? So you're gonna get some what Neo Geo should be like Neo Geo Pocket, yeah. Those are pretty cool. 
Mega Man Collection, 39 Mega Man games. So, like, for every system, the arcade, you know, fighting games, pretty cool stuff. Mario, you got 34 Mario games listed. So it's going to be various versions of, you know, some of the same games, um, but mostly, you know, a bunch of cool stuff. But, yeah, like the Game Boy Advance ports, you'll, you'll have those. I mean, I don't know why you'd want to play those, but it's still nice to have them on there. Um, I think they had, like, some bonuses and whatnot. Final Fantasy Collection, 17 games. Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, Adventure Adventure was fun. Final Fantasy 1 and 2, Dawn of Souls, 2, 3, all the Game Boys, Legends, um, which were actually um, saga games. They weren't really Final Fantasy games, but that's all right. The Tactics games, Final Fantasy 7, the, the discs, nice, nice. Donkey Kong, 22 Donkey Kong games. Nice. Pretty much everything there. And then all your CPS. It's going to be all your Street Fighters, your arcade stuff. Pretty awesome. Castlevania Collection, 16 games. Can't go wrong with Castlevania. That is faux show. Capcom Classics, 65 games. So that's probably just going to be all the CPSs combined. Yep, that's what it is. Virtual Boy, 22 games. I don't know what this game is. It's a Japanese game. Interesting. Never seen that one before. Vectrix, you're going to have 80 games. This one doesn't have the artwork for it. Maybe down the road we'll put a pack out for that. Um, looks like a couple of them do, but most of them do not. That's the only system on here that's like that. Super Nintendo, 763. SG-1000, 62. Sega CD, we got six games. Batman Returns, Earthworm Jim, Selfie, Snatcher, Sonic the Hedgehog CD, and The Terminator. And then Sega 32X, we got 31 games. PlayStation 1, 28 games. A lot of cool stuff in there. Ports, we do have the Dooms, Quake. You do have your desktop, uh, the different Quake games, and Wolfenstein 3D. Pretty sweet stuff. PC Engine, 94 Neo Geo Pocket, 37. Eight games for um, Pocket, and then it was 37 for Pocket Color. The original NES, 777. Neo Geo, 140. Love Neo Geo. But there you go. Video snaps everything working perfect this time. Nintendo 64, 35 games. A lot of cool stuff you can go through. Mega Drive, 571. Master System 270. So there we go. That's what she entails. This went on a little longer than I hoped, but just wanted to go through everything, show you what it includes. Let's go ahead and go to the all games real quick so we can get the final count. All games is 6,903. So pretty sweet stuff. So just wanted to showcase this work from Wolfenos um, based off of my base image, you know, the 32 gigabyte, you know, that I put together with uh, Phil's Doodles doing the artwork. So there's a lot of cool stuff on here. You do have a bunch of um, the themes. I'll just go through that before we end it. You have Comic Book, Retrorama, Space Oddity, Box Alloy, Blue and Red, Carbon, Fundamental, Futura, Dark, GBZ35, Dark, Green Alicious, Hursty Blue, Magazine Madness, NES Mini, Retroid, Showcase, SNES Mini, Sterling, Super Display, the Swine Apple theme and Synthwave. Um, you'll have different compatibility with systems on some of these. Like Swine Apple won't have a couple of the systems, um, but a lot of them will. So you just kind of kind of play with it and look at it. But that's where it's at. Pretty sweet image, I think. A lot of work was put into this on, on you know, half of it on my part and then the other half on, on um, you know, Wolfino's part and then all the artwork with the Swine Apple stuff on Phil's Doodle's part. It was pretty awesome. So... Appreciate what those guys have done. Smash that like button if you could. Subscribe if you have not done so already. And with that said, guys, I will catch you all next time. Peace out. Boom.